Hello everyone, this is my first video I'm producing in English. I would like to shortly introduce myself. My name is Alexander Nitsch and I have a smart home channel on YouTube. Uh, it's called uh, Smart Hack. It's a German channel and um, my topics are uh, to combine uh, some uh, devices with an I.O. broker, uh, open source platform, um, with MQTT and other API, APIs uh, to use um, to combine a uh, Chevy uh, with a Tosmota software or with the original software with a Zonov component or with other components and yes, um, I want to uh, help uh, other viewers from other countries uh, in U UK uh, Europe or uh, USA and uh, want to do my videos uh, or my work most um, popular videos in English and this is my first part and today I want to show you um, how to integrating Alexa locally uh, to the IO broker without the um, IoT adapter and the IoT skill from uh, Alexa and yes so that's my test board and uh, we've got a uh, Shelly one with Tasmota and a Zone of Touch with Tasmota uh, both integrated uh, in the uh, IO broker and uh, one of these, uh, each one, uh, control one light, click this one and this one. Uh, we tested with uh, our um, Echo and Alexa, lights on. Lights on. Alexa, lights on. And it works. Alexa, lights off. I have um, made a uh, routine and uh, combine both uh, components with uh, one um, control uh, to show you it in English because my uh, own system is in uh, German. Yes, uh, and now we look uh, these settings uh, on the IO broker on my computer. Yes, now at my PC. Um, what we need is uh, the Node-RED adapter uh, and we can install it uh, here in adapters. We type in Node-RED. Oh, so and click to the three points and the plus and then we can uh, the first start we open the settings and um, uh, fill in the IP address and um, choose uh, the uh, memory uh, I choose uh, 512 uh, MB RAM, uh, my IO broker is uh, a virtual machine um, on, on uh, VirtualBox. It's my test broker, my original broker has uh, 4 GB uh, uh, RAM and is an E3 uh, server. Yes, uh, if you have got a uh, Raspberry Pi 3 uh, with 1 GB, you um, uh, have a problem with uh, 512 MB, you can choose uh, 128 MB uh, RAM and uh, if you have a lot of um, a lot of flows in uh, Node-RED to control Alexa uh, to control uh, Alexa um, uh, adapters you um, 
you should uh, consider to upgrade to a uh, Raspberry Pi 4 with 4 GB or um, better hardware. Uh, for a test, uh, 128 MB is okay, but if you grow up, you must grow up your hardware. Uh, after the installation, you click the save button and have one new uh, point at this one and uh, you click on node red 0. Um, you can also uh, go to instance, start the adapter and click to this one and you open a new tab in your browser and it's a better overview. And this is uh, what I want to uh, show you, uh, the Amazon Echo Hub uh, and the Amazon Echo integration with Node Red. Yeah, to get uh, these points, uh, this one, you uh, have to install a, a library. You click here, and uh, my one is in, in German. Uh, you uh, select this point and uh, to install. Installieren is the German word for install. Um, and you uh, look for the module node red country. And you click to uh, install. Uh, I had to uh, had installed it, and um, you get this two points. Yes, you need um, this one, and you can uh, select a port. If uh, there is a um, mistake, it says. Uh, problem with port 80. Um, I, at the end of the video I want to show you uh, how to fix it, um, but uh, at the end. Uh, the next point is you uh, click to this and uh, drop it in your field and uh, rename it to a uh, uh, name um, uh, to a unique name and uh, for example uh, test board on okay and then you have uh, and then you uh, connect it to Amazon Echo Hub and you need a um, switch to control something. You take this to connect it and double click. You type in a name um, on off. MSK payload is OK and we type in on add off. And so uh, you need um, for uh, some uh, uh, components you need a um, uh, function. This one, uh, for example, Zonov or Tasmota uh, components, you need a um, uh, next step. You connect it, copy, paste. And double click. Name is true and NSG pay load true and false NSG point dot. Payload false and ready. So now you need a um, um, component like an um, uh, actor or 
Sherry, Tasmota, um, Hermetic, uh, you find it at this part. Um, I will broker out and you connect this one with this one. And here now you can uh, select your device. I select, uh, I have only two devices for this test uh, broker and I choose the zone of select. Um, you uh, give it a name like uh, light panel. Light panel. Uh, type is uh, if you want to control a uh, um, value, you choose value. If you want to control an um, adapter and um, um, component, you uh, select comma and finish. Okay, um, the last step is to deploy it and you click here to deploy. So, uh, the next step is uh, we refresh our smart home devices in uh, Amazon Alexa. So, now at the uh, Alexa website and you uh, select smart home um, devices, Geräte uh, means devices in German, and uh, you click uh, to search, and um, you don't need uh, one skill to install for this. It's an emulation of the uh, Philips U uh, adapter or skill, and uh, we will look, um, you will see, you find your new device. Uh, let's have a look. Here. Test board on. Here is the new uh, smart home device and you can use your um, uh, Alexa to control this device, like the example. Uh, uh, at the uh, middle of the uh, video, I uh, told you there's a problem with the uh, port A and um, some uh, raspberries or other devices have a problem um, that uh, you have a problem uh, that uh, port 80 uh, has to be forwarded uh, to another port uh, and uh, that's not a problem. Um, at the troubleshooting of this Note Red, you find uh, the commands to uh, do that and uh, if you uh, have an, an uh, SSH uh, client to connect to your Raspberry or your broker, you can to uh, copy paste this part and this part and uh, I use the part uh, 8083 and uh, I show you it uh, in PuTTY. So, uh, I use PuTTY to uh, connect to my uh, to my broker and um, can also uh, type in with a um, keyboard on your device, but it's uh, easy to use PuTTY to uh, control it with SSH. So um, I use my original one because my um, test ha um, my uh, test broker uh, haven't the SSH uh, uh, connection uh, open and it's also it works too with my original one uh, so you type in your username and your password and copy this one 
Heißt. Password and enter. And you copy this one. This one. Copy. And paste. And I change it to a port uh, 80, uh, 83. So enter and finish. And after that, um, it will works. Yes, um, it's necessary to edit uh, the Amazon Echo Hub to the port 80, 83 and done. And after that, everything is fine. At my original one, I had the same problem and I forwarded the port and uh, after that it works great. Yes, and uh, I hope uh, you enjoy my video and, um, and sorry uh, that my English is not perfect, but I hope uh, you have an advantage uh, from this video and you uh, and you follow my videos. Um, I want to make one video in English a week. Uh, I have a lot of uh, iBroker basic tutorials in German and I want to create this one in English too. Yeah, have a nice day!